We've all heard it. Hitchhiking can be dangerous. And now Canada's hitchhiking robot can attest to it. Hitchbot was two weeks into his American adventure when he had a less than friendly run-in. Vandals damaged the child-sized robot, leaving him to fizzle. But as Ross Lord reports, offers are pouring in to help get Hitchbot back on the open road. For most of its international odyssey, this hitchhiking robot has been in good hands. Starting with Brian and Anne Sonia of Halifax. It's really cool that we happen along at the right time because this is going to be fun. It was. All right, is he safe? For more than 10,000 kilometers between Halifax and Victoria, B.C., Hitchbot was safe, repaying the kindness of strangers with stimulating, if odd, conversation. Like it would ask sometimes plain, normal questions like, do you have any children? Are you a boy or a girl? And then it would ask if you believed in God. And the first of its kind, created by Canadian researchers from an old bucket and a couple of pool noodles. The cross-country journey was so successful, Hitchbot thumbed its way through parts of Europe this year. Okay, I think I have icicles growing on my elbows. Maybe you should check my battery life indicator. Do you have no batteries? I don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Which makes this image a bit tough to take. Hitchbot dismembered in Philadelphia, known ironically as the city of brotherly love. We're very disappointed. A setback for its creators just two weeks after launching the latest leg along the United States eastern seaboard. I'm surprised how upset I actually am. I didn't expect that. The Sonyes, who jokingly call themselves Hitchbot's parents, are trying to laugh it off. I told them there's lots of work for robots in Canada and we should stop this traveling and just get a good job <laughs> and down. stay, settle down. And I warned them, but they wouldn't listen. Just like our other kids. Yeah. <laughs> To its 51,000 Twitter followers, Hitchbot is signaling the trip has come to an end, at least for now. A group of tech researchers in Philadelphia is offering to do a rebuild, but Hitchbot's organizers say they're not sure what's next for the makeshift machine that brought out the best and worst of human nature. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.